Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dawson video. Today I will not be editing this video because I finally stumbled across the Toon Critic scenario. And I've listened to every single video. Now here's the problem. We're supposed to be accepting, but we're not accepting now, are we? We're supposed to be kind and benevolent, but we're not being that either. The whole purpose of this fandom was to bring communities together and help each other. What's the thing we're straying from at this time? We're not banding together, we're not helping each other. We're tearing each other apart. The more we do this, the more we're going to cause pain and suffering to those we love dear. This is a problem and an issue. Does Toon Critic deserve what he got? Most likely, yes. But I listened to the original person's video. She said 14, but at the 3 minute and 18 mark, she said 22. That's a big leap of an age difference, which I'm trying to figure out why. Because if you keep listening to it, she keeps saying 22. I am, tw I was 22 at the time when she said it was at the age of 14 when it started. So if it was happening for four years, how would she be 14, then 22? It makes no sense. I could hear the distress in her voice and how she was concerned, but the thing is, friends shouldn't shut out friends. Once you start shutting out a friend or shutting them out or not talking to them or getting rid of them on social media or even not replying i know this for a fact it will freak the friend out and it will completely shatter their spirit it will destroy them it will consume them to the point where they would rather kill themselves than move forward with life and I know this from experience because recently a friend did something I was really concerned about but in a different way which is almost exactly the same as the Toon Critics scenario but he didn't do the same things that Toon Critic did um, he was threatening to kill himself and I tried to talk to him. He kept ignoring me, ignoring me, ignoring me. And I got really, really freaked out. I even contacted his mom and asked what's going on. And by the time I contact his mom and his mom received the message, it was too late. He already did what he said he was going to do. He killed himself. And there isn't anything I could have done. And it took me a while to accept that fact. Now. Does Toon Critic deserve what he did? Probably. But should his friends cut him out entirely? That is absolutely incorrect shunning out a friend makes the friend feel alone therefore if we're supposed to be supporting love tolerance and second chances which our fandom was based off of we're no better than the, the most worst person in the world that we see in our eyes but here's the problem we're not being the fandom we want to be. We're tearing ourselves apart from the inside. By doing this, it's destroying us. 
it's not healing us his friend should have went to him and asked what is going on and even showed him the contact and the proof that they had then they could have gotten to the bottom of this on their own So basically, should his friends have shut him out, gotten rid of all of his social media? Probably. But does it mean they should stop communication? No. It's not how you deal with a problem like this. From a Yes I Can member and a leadership member, you should never leave someone alone to figure something out. They'll need support, they'll need to know people care about them. But if he's being ignored by all of his close friends, what does that tell him? It tells him nobody cares about him anymore. He's been, he probably knows they feel betrayed. They feel angry, upset, but we need to get past these feelings and start actually helping because we're not helping anymore fandom i've come to know and love yes it would have shooken the fandom but now it's destroying the fandom we're not shook we're being destroyed the problem with this is will we let ourselves be destroyed I know my points seem weird and that a number difference is concerning me in her video. Like she says, I was 14 at the time. And then she says that exactly near around three minutes and 18 seconds that she was 22 at the time. It's a big leap of age. There is no plausible way that she could have been 22 if she was 14 in the past. And if it was going on for four years, her technical age would not have been 14. If you count backwards from 22, from four, that equals eighteen. So her technical age throughout the four years would have been eighteen. She would have known better if she would have paid attention in her classes, in school. Because by the age of 14, in junior high, through high school, you are always reminded to be aware of these types of things. To let people know before it gets worse. But apparently this girl let it get out of hand on her own. It's not the fandom's problem to resolve. It's not his to solve alone. Yes, he did fail, but it's our failures and our falls that we learn from 
If we did not fall, we could not get back up. If we can't get back up, how will we rise again to the challenge at hand? Yes, he might rebrand himself and try to change, but sometimes you never know. Now the issue with this is that we're being so hypocritical about everything he he used to be. Nothing's ever as it seems. Is it? But Toon Critic doesn't need to be cut out or shunned out. Did his channel deserve to get deleted? Yeah, actually I agree with that his channel being deleted was actually a good thing because then he can come back later as a new person and rebrand his self as something new for that it would technically be correct And the problem I have with the 14 to 22 ratio is that 14 is nowhere near the number 22. Therefore, basically, she's jumping a big number gap between something. And if no one else noticed that in her video, where have you been? Since I have a developmental disability, I have a keen eye for this stuff. My hearing is so potent that I can find the simplest thing in error or anything that she says. And saying I was 22 at the time is a big leap. Because technically that means she's a legal adult and that she was not a minor. Eighteen is technically the legal adult age. So if she was eighteen at the time and she said fourteen at the beginning and then at three minutes around three minutes and eighteen seconds she says twenty two at the time. That's a big leap between the two things. You don't don't go from fourteen to twenty two in one second. It doesn't make sense. Yes, yeah, she was distressed in her voice. If she has something to tell me, go ahead, email me. Find me on anything. Find me on Patreon. Find me on DeviantArt. Find me on email. Try and email me. I won't find your email unless you can find all my channels and email each one of those I will not reply but surely if you can go from 14 to 22 which makes no sense 14 does not go to 22 it does not Which means, technically, from, in order to go from 14 to 22, you would have to go up by 8. So if she's saying it started at 14, technically, it wouldn't have been going on for 4 years. Which is a big gap in everything. Because if she said it was for four years, she would have been 18. Which is a technical term for a legal adult. Which is the big issue with this problem. We're not seeing the whole picture. There's two sides to a coin, so there's two sides to a story. 
even though most of you are mad, furious, sad, upset, it's our job to figure out the truth. And if we don't figure out the truth, and his friends don't figure out the truth, then who will? It's not that they're afraid of the truth. Because it's not our darkness we're afraid of. It's the light we're afraid of. By that analogy, it doesn't mean that... Um... I'm trying to come up with something on the spot. It basically means our demons are not what we're afraid of. Our dark side, our evil side of ourselves is not what we're afraid of. It's the positive side of everyone that everyone is afraid of. Which is why this fandom flourishes, is because it's a perfect place for everyone's positive side to show. But the problem is that we're not willing to listen to him. When you shun out a friend and make them feel worthless, take away the thing that they drove so hard to achieve and drove so hard to succeed you're basically telling them we don't care anymore we hate you we don't want you get out of here so if you find this weird because I have listened to that her video at least 37 times hearing the same thing over and over and over again hearing her say 14 in the beginning and then only a few minutes later say 22 at the time which makes no logical sense how she could be 22 if she was 14 when it was happening therefore meaning if she was 14 basically it would have been for a longer year and time period therefore being when she said I was 22 at the time meaning she was technically 18 technically no longer considered a minor and still doing this because technically when you are 14 you're in junior high high school well, junior high high school set and since it takes place by using all my deduction skills she was technically 18 at the time meaning she would have had to have been through high, high school at the time and every teacher in high schools remind you about this stuff and they bluntly tell you Beware this stuff, even in your health class. They warn you about this stuff, even in other classrooms. You can go to your counselor, go to your teacher. They will talk to you. If something gets so progressively bad, go to a teacher, go to an adult. But she failed to do this one simple thing that she was being told her whole life. Go to an adult. But it's hard to go to an adult because no one truly likes talking to adults. It's a lot easier to just come out than it is to destroy. Basically what she's done is destroy something we've worked so hard to achieve. Which is tearing the fandom apart from within and basically 
re-watching the video so many times, I hear so many cracks in her voice. Like, she's trying to say something else, but she's also trying to get tuned into what she wants. Mm. If that's not good, then I don't know what is. Because technically, if my math is right, and I'm rarely wrong, the likeliness of me being wrong in mathematics is at least 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Meaning, I have a very low chance of being wrong. Don't let one thing ruin this fandom. Everyone deserves a second chance. Even if it requires learning. You need to allow a second chance. Even a third chance if it need be. Because when a friend fails and falls, he needs support not only by his family, but by his friends. And by cutting him off from his friends, all of his friends, you're basically telling the world and him that he doesn't matter anymore. You don't care. And that's what he feels like. Which is a feeling I know all too well. Stop the hate, you guys. Because the more we hate one person is the more you destroy your own soul and destroy your own life. Stand up and forgive. Forgiveness is hard to give. But it's time to forgive and not punish. The punishment is easy, but the forgiveness is the hardest thing. People need to learn to forgive more. Then maybe, just maybe, this world this planet, the people who live in it, might become a better person. Some people are destined to repeat, some people are destined to move on. Whatever Tune Critic decides is completely up to him. Therefore, it's no longer in our power, but friends should not be up in each other's throats. Therefore, before I end this video, remember this, that forgiveness is never easy to give, but sometimes the give forgiveness is a special slice of cake that is hard to reach but you can obtain. I know it makes no sense, don't quote me on it, but... And that most of this stuff is just me ranting about how her video had flaws in it. Which I will be leaving a link to her video down in the description below so you people can watch it. And remember, listen for around the three minute marker 
between 3 minutes and 18 seconds because once it reaches 3 minutes and 18 seconds it just makes no sense to me every time it makes no sense if you were 14 at the time and then you say you're 22 at the time you're leaping eight whole ages to get to 22 meaning technically she would have had to have been 18 meaning she would have known better and she did know better she just didn't see the wrong in what she was doing at the time everyone does something wrong everyone does something bad now here's the issue should we forgive or should we destroy destroying is the easy part forgiving is the harder part I say by forgiving we would make this fandom much more powerful and shed an example to all the other fandoms if we can forgive someone for this doesn't mean we'll forgive everyone it just means we can forgive once fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me remember that fool me 30 times shame on me because I failed to see it. Remember, if it repeats three times, he doesn't deserve our forgiveness. Because he fooled us three times. But this is the first time. So stop being so hypocritical and so mean, taking away everything and help. Because I know from a fact that even though he deleted his channel, our channel was deleted, even though the link still exists to it, we should still not shut him out. Because shutting out an old friend can cause a lot of pain to them. More pain than you can imagine. It's like taking a knife and stabbing the person through a heart. Through the heart. And d by not reaching out and figuring out on our own beforehand before it was released by accident what else is there to say I can't even think of anything else to say but this is honestly gonna be my longest rant video about this because technically Reading between the lines is the best course of action. All my teachers told me to do was read between the lines and you'll find the answers. But no one's reading between the lines anymore, are they? His friends aren't reading between the lines. The fandom isn't reading between the lines. Therefore, we will never understand until people start reading in between the lines and start looking in between the lines and actually searching and digging there will be no hope now i'm just gonna end this video here i hope you guys understand where i'm coming at and why i made this video
I do not support what he did. I do not support Toon Critic. And what he did. But I do support what I believe. And if what I believe will be shunned and criticized, and you be mean, we're no better than the people who put, who attacked Pearl Harbor in the past. Cause those who forget the past are destined to repeat it. Remember, I'm pretty sure you won't forget this. Thank you. And have a nice rest of your day. Oh god.